Hi guys, welcome to Vintage Finds. Today, my goal is to spend only $20 thrifting. It's gonna be a really hard <laughs> for me uh, and because also I am trying a new uh, thrift store. This plaza has two thrift stores. It's Talese and Mission. And then I see something here called Wow, What a Deal. That might just be a dollar store, but I might check it out. Having said that, is it $20 per thrift store or $20 total? We'll see. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Oh no, I wasn't even making a video. Okay. Here's Mission. Okay. Here's that maybe. Wow, what a deal. It might be a dollar store. Looks like it could be like one of those discount stores. Then here is Talese. Zoom on. Here's Talese. People are kind of lined up outside of it. So uh, I'm going to check to see what the um, timings are uh, when it opens and we'll go from there. I usually don't come here, but I'm kind of glad that it's kind of empty. Let's go to the two home decor sections. Wait, is there a home decor section? Ooh. $7.99. Damn, that's expensive. Maybe I'll come back to the book section here. I think I see home. This is very well organized. It's almost like a... I don't really come here. I think I've come here maybe once or twice. Maybe once. Okay, let's check it out. Oh my god. Are these tables for sale? Beautiful. I had to do a voiceover because I had the sniffles and it was really annoying to hear that <laughs> while I was talking. So I did like Talese a lot. They were organized, they were clean. The items themselves were also clean. This cat was about $7 and um, I thought that was a bit expensive so I left her behind. I picked this up, it said two for $6.29 and I thought maybe there's another one inside and I shouldn't have picked it up because it was wrapped in plastic and there was an actual chip on there and I paid $6.29 for it, it's out of my $20 I wasted. And the second thing was the lid, not even another box inside. I saw these wooden carved faces, really beautiful. I liked um, this one as well. I wasn't sure what it was. This carved kind of normally, I mean, a few months ago, I would have totally picked that up. But since I'm on a budget now and I have to be really picky. So I want to thrift more in 2024, but I want to be really, really picky about what I'm picking up. Picky about picking up. Damn it. I always do that. I always have one thing I say that's like weirdly rhyming and not, not in a good way. This shelf, it was carved wood and brass inlay and I really liked it and after I did some comms on it, I think it sells for, like, the prices were whack all over the place, up to $100. So for $6.29, I thought this was a good buy. I want to say I missed these ducks, but I didn't miss them. I just didn't even check them. Like... They were so unique, I should have picked them up and I should have checked the price to see how much they were. I was just too afraid that they're going to cover my entire budget, I won't be able to buy anything. <laughs> but um, they, I should have picked them up for sure. I mean, instead of that, that silly box I picked up, which was broken. Some really nice things in the middle section, like that little metal house, great for decor. Um, this thing with the lid, I don't know if it's a candy dish, it was completely metal. Um, I didn't, I don't think I checked, or I did check the price. I don't think I did. Anyways, um, moving on.
This was pretty but contemporary, so I left it behind. This was also a contemporary candle stand. I picked this up to see if it could be for my matches, but it was quite dented and no, it wasn't it wasn't cool. I definitely missed that box right there, the, the turquoise one at the bottom, should have checked it out. I think because um, my budget was $20 and last time I went over it and I failed, I was like kind of scared to <laughs> pick up things. But you know what, I should not be scared to pick them up, put them in my cart and do like a filtering at the end. That's what I that's what I need to do. If I had picked up those ducks, I would probably chosen them over that box and then save myself, you know, a loss. The shelves aren't exactly jam-packed because I think Talese concentrates on their clothing more or they just get more clothing. But uh, still, I mean, the stuff they had was at least wasn't like broken or anything. So I think that's what they do. They filter through their donations, make sure that the stuff they're putting out is clean and not chipped or broken. So I, I actually prefer that over, you know, the thrift stores that are jam-packed and there's so many broken things. This could be great for a thrifted gift. The board was still covered in plastic and I actually used one of these before because I found them at a thrift store. I think uh, if you've seen my other video about it, you would have seen it. I can't believe I didn't grab that ladybug trinket tray. All these figurines were really cute, but most of them seemed contemporary. So I don't think I grabbed them. Also, like I said, I think I was scared to even touch most of these things because I don't want to get go over my budget but i think i'm a little more confident that i do have self-control now after doing this for like three videos straight i have more self-control so it's okay i can pick stuff up i can look at them this is loose side paperweight um people do collect this so that would go for about 20 dollars. it was reasonably priced at uh, 179 Okay, so brass candle holders with so much patina on it. Um, when I looked at them, it was $5.49, so okay price too. But when I looked at it, I was like, is this painted patina on it? Or is this real patina? Like, I wasn't sure. Um, <laughs> and I did some comms, and everybody was selling them as vintage patina brass candle holders. And they were selling for a good price, I think about 50 So I was like, okay, you know what? I'll take them. And didn't find anything in the baggy section. As you know, I don't like to go through the clear glass section because it just makes me dizzy. But uh, what I liked about Talese was that their shelves were gray, not white, and somehow it was easier to see the glasses on gray than it is on white. Uh oh, look at that bowl. Please don't. Please don't tell me I, I missed Fenton glass. Oh my god, that looks like that looks like something I should have picked it up. Man, there's so many things <laughs> I'm finding now while editing this video that I should have picked up. Don't worry, I will go back to Tilly's. They have not disappointed. <laughs> Looked like pottery. Um, I think it was like six twenty nine or something. Wasn't really feeling it, even though it was pretty unique. I 
I really like the shape on this glass. Like, is this an ice cream cup or something for $1.59? Those green glasses at the bottom uh, might be recycled glass just because of the green, that the way it's showing up. So here I found two more of the same cups or ice cream bowls, but um, I think I would have preferred to find four. And I didn't want to just take two and then leave one. I don't know. I don't like breaking up sets if I'm not going to buy the whole thing, you know? I went through this section once again. It was clean and um, I guess well-priced as well based off of the quality that it's not chipped or anything. I didn't really find any plates, uh, but usually I'm very picky with that. Anyways, I don't find a lot of plates that I like. I saw some jars on the top shelf, but they didn't have any lids. Could be used as vases, you know, if I wanted it for personal use. Lots and lots of cups. <laughs> I was once again looking for maybe unique looking teapots, but let's see. Okay, what is this? At first I thought it was a pepper grinder, you know, like the old school ones that I've been looking for for a while. But then at the bottom, it was two kind of filter lids, whatever. I couldn't really, I didn't know what that was, so I left it behind. But guess what I found? I found a babushka. At least that's what they call her online. Um, she's a pepper shaker or a salt shaker um, and she's vintage and she's called kitchen witch or babushka and she's so cute I think they gave her to me for $3.99 or $2.99 at cash she didn't have a price but she does sell for a lot I did some comms she goes for like $50 um, I listed her for $30 on my booth this was kind of unique too um, for $4.49 I wasn't sure if it was pewter, but it was too light to be pewter. Oh, and then I found these. These are a little letter cookie cutters. There's, um, so I would use them for fondant because I'm trying to do my daughter's cake and for her birthday. So I want to do, obviously, happy birthday, the, the le lettering. And I knew I'd be bad at the icing part, but I can do, I, with fondant, I can use these cookie cutters and write out whatever I want and then place them on the cake. So hopefully that works because I don't bake. I ain't good at cakes, <laughs> but I'm gonna try. Also, because that was for my personal use, I should not have added it to my uh, total of $20 because that's just purely for thrifting for business. But I guess I forgot once again. Checking out the art section, not a lot happening and uh, which was fine. I mean, I wasn't really expecting much here, but I did like how they had decorated their store. I saw some original art in the corner right there and I will zoom in. It is a scene of underwater, I guess ocean, um, but it was an amateur work of art not bad but not great either um so i didn't i didn't check it out i really like how they've done their walls like i love this pink wall with the frames on it absolutely loved it like i wanted it in my bedroom or something but no <laughs> so i did like a quick um you know once over but i didn't pick up any of the frames that were laying down and that one and this one I missed. I should have picked them up 
to at least look at the price. This cactus lamp is so cute. My daughter would love it. I'm glad she wasn't with me. She would have been like, I want this lamp. But it's okay. Because again, if it's for personal use, it's not part of my budget. I keep forgetting that. I thought this was cute. The glass was glass, but the top was plastic. And I didn't pick up that tray, which I should have. After doing some research on stainless steel, I am on the hunt for all clad because they're really expensive. So if I find some um, all clad frying pans or something in good shape, I want to get some for myself. So I was trying to check the brand here at the bottom. It would say under the handle all clad stainless steel. This was kind of mid-century, but not really. It wasn't vintage at all. I thought this was a bell. It's a perfume bottle from like Avon or something. <laughs> the top was metal. Oh, sorry, plastic. If it was metal, I might have picked it up. Wow, and I didn't pick up that plate, the blue glass plate, this one, a second time, wow. Okay, so here I'm doing my little calculations. I definitely want her. Um, I do want the, the shelf. I wasn't sure about the brass thingies. Um, and then this was only $2.29. The necklace I left behind for $7.99. And at the end, I kind of chose between the necklace and the box and uh, well the box wasn't a good buy either okay so i just got done at talis in my total after tax because it's a for-profit company was 28.63 which means i was over my 20 dollar budget by five dollars and 34 cents reason for that was who's five to the reason for that was the babushka. The babushka, <laughs> when I looked her up online, was somebody was selling her for 50, somebody else was selling her for 100. Um, it was all over the place, but I really like, I really like her. It says um, on on the online <laughs> Google, it said uh, kitchen witch, babushka, you know, she just chills there. Like, I don't, yeah, anyways, I like her a lot. Um, and if she is worth that much, then it was, it was better to buy her for $2.99. Left that, um, the beads necklace thing that I got, because it wasn't even a necklace when I looked at it closely. It's a prayer bead thing, and the what I thought was evil eye didn't really even seem like evil eye by the end of it. It was $7.99, so then I left it. Um, what else? Oh, this. They said, I said, what does it say? Two, two piece for six twenty nine. There's something inside it. And they said, no, that that's for the lid and the, the lid and the box. So now it's it's really shiny. It's in good condition. I'm gonna just open it and see to make sure nothing crazy is happening because you know how how am I supposed to? No, there is a small um, dent thing here, and I think no, it's broken. I thought this was for like a spoon or something, but no. I think it's broken. Great. It's final sale and I paid $6.49 for this, so it was a waste. I was about to let this go. I should have just let it go. Especially if you can't see, it's in a, it's in a bag. It's my, it's my mistake. You live and you learn. This one showed up on Google as uh, vintage. And I, there is patina at the bottom, as you can see. But I'm confused used because yes I see the brass here as well but I think the p patina is not real maybe it's made to look like patina you know I'm gonna go home and try cleaning it off here and see what happens to have the brass cleaner and 
Um, and I have the pink stuff. Uh, a friend gave it to me. That's that's what it's called, pink stuff. Um, that's a really strong cleaner, but it's still not. I mean, it's not harmful. And then there's Barkeeper's Friend, my last resort. Um, okay, what else? Oh, the the big shelf that showed up on Google again. Prices were crazy. Uh, Etsy was like one hundred and thirty eight dollars for the the brass and. So for six twenty nine, this one was a good good buy. Um, I would probably list it. I would probably list it for fifty seven dollars, if my math is correct. Uh, these the lucite uh, paperweight thing, I can make at least twenty twenty five dollars on that on top of it, so it wasn't so bad. This I got for my for I'm attempting to make cake for my daughter's birthday so I'm gonna try it I'm gonna get fondant and then I'm gonna make the words out of this I think that would be cool any who's um, okay I'm gonna go to mission and it's the same thing my challenge is $20 <laughs> let's see if I fail or survive um, okay I'll see you in the next video